All right, so let's take a look at um, a couple ways that you can change the uh, how the world follows the character in the kit. So I'm going to open up uh, the what's um, uh, just level zero here, and I'll uh, just move the character around a little bit. I'm going to uh, test in the simulator because since I don't actually have to do anything with uh, <laughs> more than uh, one hand, <laughs> I can get away with the uh, the mouse here. And uh, so you can see that the the world around the character is uh, is moving, uh, you know, relative to him. He's, he's staying right in the middle of the stage. And everything's kind of uh, moving around him. And obviously he is, you know, dead center in the middle here. And, uh, you know, for many games that's going to work perfectly. Uh, what you can do, though, is uh, change that. So you could go over here and uh, here are the properties for level zero. So if I get you back over here to the root, we've got our levels dictionary. And then inside of that is uh, all the other levels. Level zero. And uh, one of the things that you can toggle, you know, right away is just uh, are we going to center the world at all? Uh, so if you set this uh, disable centering to yes, so that means that it will not be centered. Uh, we'll run this again really quick and uh, start the game. Okay, so now you can see that obviously the world is not moving around him at all. Uh, now since this is a a much bigger world than uh, the size of the iPad or you know roughly that uh, then uh, we need some sort of centering there so let's go ahead and take a look at some of our other options uh, I'm gonna set this back to being uh, no and then let's play around with the centering offset value and you, can see, you can see I've already got a centering offset value for the phone uh, th this this one right here is gonna apply to the iPad only so uh, let's let's do this let's put this at negative uh, 200 and run it again. And the reason we have two properties is you'll find sometimes that um, it helps to have a slightly different one for the f uh, the phones versus the uh, iPad. All right, so now there we go. Um, obviously, the uh, the character is not dead center uh, vertically in the middle of the screen. He's still horiz horizontally in the center, but uh, this might feel a little bit more natural. It's kind of a uh, sort of uh, more similar to a, a Mario Brothers uh, type game and uh, if we were to uh, jump up here you can see that uh, the world is still centering or it's still moving on the Y uh, in relation to him. Now that's something that we can shut off as well so what you could do is come over here and say uh, disable centering on Y if I remember that property name correctly <laughs> and we'll set that to yes and uh, what this will do is uh, keep it centering on the X but uh, not center it at all on the uh, the Y axis and uh, yep one of the things that you're gonna have to um, consider if you do do that is uh, that you might end up uh, with different uh, centering offset values uh, let's try um, looks like we have to go in the opposite direction here to make this uh, work for disable centering on the Y only. Oh, looks like I gotta go a little further down. Some of these things are just gonna be trial and error. And, and actually now that I think about it, um, we're gonna be shifting the screen ab about um, the size of say the height of the iPad which is uh, uh, 768. So let's let's put that in at uh, just 700. And if I'm right about this, there we go. All right, so uh, basically what happened here is, is there was no centering at all on the y-axis. And uh, that, that kind of just put the world up up here, if you can kind of imagine where my mouse is at. And um, so then what I had to do is, is um, add in this 700 to it. And that brought us down to about here. All right, so now, you know, we kind of get what we had before. But the difference being uh, there's not going to be any... Uh, y movement when the uh, the character moves up at all. Okay, oh, that guy got me. Uh, and uh, you know, th so that's uh, and that's actually I guess uh, more similar to like a Mario Brothers type game uh, because if I remember right, uh, <laughs> that's just how it was. We, the the Y axis was never adjusted as the as, as Mario went up. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe he did it when he went up into the clouds. Now that I think about it, but. Um, so there you go. That's uh, some of your options, and of course you can do uh, all those same tricks on the uh, the X axis as well. If you did have a uh, a game that was kind of you know moving uh, vertically up or vertically down the entire time, and uh, those properties are kind of obvious, so you'd go disable centering on X, and then you'd want to change one of the um, 
you know, the corresponding offset values for the x. So you know, it might be 300 or something like that. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit undo on all these things because I don't want to make any of those changes permanent at all. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how you can uh, adjust some of your centering properties. Actually, before I leave this video, let's go over here and, and just take a look at a, uh, a world that is uh, completely confined to the size of uh, the iPad. And that's uh, the, um, either of these arcade levels right here, arcade, um, just plain arcade or arcade 2. And uh, instead of, you know, making our way to them in the game, let's just go ahead and uh, go to the start menu. I'll come over here to button, start game, and uh, does what level? That means it's going to open up a level for us based on... Uh, these two properties goes to level or goes to pro uh, and goes to portal. Um, all my portals in the game always start at the starting point. And uh, let's change this to uh, arcade. And now when we open it back up, it is going to bring us to the arcade level right away, bypassing level zero. And of course, that's a way that you can test any of these uh, levels. So here you go. Here's an example of. Um, just a, a level that uh, is not centered at all and is completely confined to uh, this particular space. So I've got uh, everything fitting into basically, yeah, like a, a 10 to 24 by uh, 768 uh, screen. And of course the simulator physics are running a bit slow. I can't even hop over that guy. So yet again, a, a reminder to always test on your actual device for the fastest physics possible. Okay, so, uh, but that's just to give you an idea of uh, how that would look.